everyone today let's we can discuss the discord question number 345 reverse ovals of the string for the given question we are given a string okay we need to reverse only the ovals in the string and we need to return the string see they what they given they given ovals of a e i o u and they told that they appearing both lower case and upper case and they are more than one see in the example one what they given allo and the output is h o l l e how it is going to work let's we can take an example and we can understand h e l l o we can take this example see here what i am doing the ovals only will be reversed see this e will be reversed with this o after reversing it will be visible like h o l l e let's we can take other example lit code l e e t c o d e okay here this e will be swapped with this e okay and this e will be swapped with this o after performing this it will be visible like l e o t c e d e okay this is the question what they given here what i did i taken one oval as container and stored here small characters and upper characters okay how the allo will be reverse with h o l l e let's we can understand i will be taking two pointers one is i and other one is j here i will be pointing to the first index and j will be pointing to the last index nothing but we can tell n minus 1 here we are we are using string so here s dot rest dot size minus 1 what i am doing i am taking your first character it is a uh, okay it is present in this container or not if it is not present means just i will increment my i pointer okay next my i will pointing to this e i will be checking my a j my j will be pointing to the last see both are vowels if both are oval means just i will be swap after swapping it will be h o l l e after swapping i will increment my i pointer and i will decrement my j pointer my i will be pointing to here my j will be pointing to here see these are both are constant if both are constant means just i will increment my i and i will decrement my j j will be here my i will be here once my j will become lesser than i then the condition become false and i will come to know that my entire string has been reversed and the ovals has been reversed okay this is the logic okay let's we can enter into the coding part first we can understand the base condition the base condition means if the string size is 1 or 0 means directly i will be telling my string now i will be creating a one vector to store all the lower case and upper case of characters of the oval okay i taken vector of character type i store the vowels all the containers of lower case and upper case in the ovals after that i will be taking two pointers one is i and other is j i will be pointing to the first index and j will be pointing to the last index now i will be taking a one while condition i should be always lesser than j then what i will be doing i will be finding my first character of i it should be present in the oval if it is not present in the oval means just i will increment my the i pointer suppose if my i pointer is present in the oval means what i will be doing i will be writing that logic right now if my i is uh, pointer is oval means now i will be checking the last index of j that should be also oval if the my i s of i and my s of j both are oval means this i will be swap them then i will increment my i and i will decrement my j in case my s of i is oval but s of j is not oval means then i will decrement my j pointer only once my i pointer becomes more compared to j then i will come to know that my string has been reversed the oval all then finally i will be returning my string as my answer this is the logic let's we can run this code yeah this is accepted let's we can submit the code yeah this is accepted solution let's we can discuss the space complexity and span complexity of this logic here the space complexity is taking big of 10 here where 10 is the number of space where 10 is a constant so we can tell that space complexity is taking big of 1 when it comes to the time complexity this while loop is taking big of n times and when it comes to the fine function it is taking the oval size length okay it is big of 
one because there is a 10 oval size it is taking big of n overall it is taking big of one this while loop is taking big of n so we can tell that big of n into big of one we can tell it is taking big of n the time complexity is taking big of n and web space complexity is taking big of one thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please give the like and subscribe to this channel